Alice. Yes. You don't get a response immediately. It does take a couple of days. Days? Yes. You get the text message of... From your brother's number, not from a number you don't recognize or anything like that. Last few days have been really crazy. I haven't really had access to my phone. It's been a adjustment. Um, what exactly are you wanting, Alice? Does this sound like him? It does sound like him. The only thing that is weird is he does he doesn't call you sis or sister or anything like that. He does call you by or he does type out your name. Oh, that's the okay. only thing that's weird. Okay, so she'll respond. I was just wanted to check up on you, see how you're doing. Uh, did you get into a, a home yet? Are you doing okay? I am not in a home yet. The process takes longer than that. I think the terminology they used was ward of the state. And he puts a question mark at the end of that. Uh, I've got... Obviously, there's a waiting list, but they're going to try to get, uh, they call them interviews, I guess, interviews with other fam, with families as soon as possible. Did they mention anything about me? Yes, uh, they did. I, I told them where I had been staying and, you know, that I had been staying with you. And... Well, when... They're not... To my understanding, it's not to do with anything from, obviously, before your 18th birthday, but since your 18th birthday, I guess they're look... They see the fact that you've kept me out of the system f for that time frame as child abuse and they're looking to prosecute and a lot of these bigger words are misspelled uh, it looks like autocorrect has been used but uh, he wasn't necessarily close enough to some of the words, so, you know, you're getting weird words, but you... You piece it together. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you... Are you free? Can we meet somewhere? I have... Um... I don't want to say I have free time because that's not correct, but we are allowed to go out um, occasionally. Uh, I could maybe meet you at a coffee shop nearby. We're, we're not really allowed to go far and we always have somebody, you know, watching us, a social worker. There's no way to uh, get around that, go somewhere with as few people as possible. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds odd, but my condition, she puts quotes, is getting worse. I, I can't do anything that would mess this up. sits on that text for a few minutes trying to think of what to say because on the one hand that's what she wants for him she doesn't want him to mess it up 
She doesn't want to mess it up for him. But on the other hand, she doesn't want to leave him alone. And she kind of needs somebody right now. <laughs> So she's going to reply. No, I, I don't want you to mess that up either. I was just, you know, hoping to get together without drawing too much attention to myself. Because that, I think, would also mess it up for you. I mean, these are the options. Either you take them and we meet up, or you don't. I mean, that's outside of my control at this point. Okay. Uh, which coffee shop? He sends you essentially what is a Google Maps like link thing, you know. So you have the exact position. Okay. Then, uh, yeah, we could meet there. I'll, I'll wear a hoodie or something. Just sit in a corner or something. What time? Um, 2 p.m. today should be good, if you can get there. Yeah, I can do that. As you arrive to the coffee shop at 2 p.m., I'm assuming maybe a little bit sooner. Yeah, a few minutes sooner. You get seated at a corner booth I'm assuming you probably don't have any cash so you probably don't order a coffee so a water if it's free <laughs> you see two people enter your brother and the other person you can assume is the social worker assigned to him Do you make any sort of gesture, or is it all on him at this point? Uh, it would probably be on him. They go in the line. They are, it is a li it's a coffee shop. You know, sometimes the music's a little loud for coffee shops, at least in my, mm. <laughs> in my experience, <laughs> they tend to be a little loud. Yeah. Roll me a perception as they Hulk. turn as he turns to talk to the social worker for a second. Mm. Two successes. You he you're able to make out most of the conversation. Um, and with that, I need to make a roll for him. You hear him attempting to convince the social worker, hey, just wait outside, you know, I'm just going to have my cup of coffee here, and, you know, uh, there's no real reason for for you to have to stay here, uh, only to be shot down. Uh, I would like to use the attune ability on the social worker and get their surface thoughts and ask a question okay oh so let me go ahead and make a roll it should be is it 
Are they contested or resisted? I forget. <clears throat> Does anyone know offhand? <clears throat> uh, directed variations? They're resisted? Yeah, I think that's how it's always been. Okay, so it'll be minus the social... So, uh... Minus composure? Yeah. Uh, that's only going to be a two. So minus two. Two. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so well, I only get one question anyway because that's scar power. Uh, what is your character hiding along with surface thoughts, normal stuff? Surface thoughts uh, mostly revolve around what? That's suspicious. Why would he be asking for that? That's weird. You know, a very logical thought process for this type for of social worker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is this character hiding? Basically, if uh, if it helps, she's Alice is wanting to know if they're after her. The social worker is honestly. Uh, um, what what was the question again? <laughs> what is your character hiding? Is the actual the nerves of the upcoming uh, paternity test because uh, the kid that they have isn't actually their partner's child? <laughs> it's, okay, <laughs> so it's just completely not related to you at all. Unrelated. All right, that's uh, comforting. Kind of reassuring, yes. <laughs> they have other things on their mind than you. That's perfectly fine for Alice. <laughs> it's what she was hoping for, actually. Alice is just like TMI, TMI, TMI. Yeah. Uh, so on getting that information, uh, she'll kind of wave and uh, see if he notices. He notices and he does make his way over there and the social worker makes uh, her way over there as well. And she kind of raises an eyebrow as he sits down at the booth with you. Oh, um, she kind of turns her head to the side. Okay, that muttering kind of under her breath okay that that makes sense why he was asking that question now you know at least to an extent he knew somebody here um i don't believe we've had the pleasure uh my name is uh, clarissa tate uh does that name uh she's heard tate before oh oh no Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if she had a voice, it would stutter, but... Uh... <laughs> she starts to... She did learn sign language, so she does start to sign. But uh, she's assuming that this Miss Tate person does not uh, understand. I'm gonna roll a d10. I don't know if this person knows sign language. I not a part of the character I thought about beforehand. She does. Really? She actually starts signing back. Uh, what exactly did you sign? Uh, <laughs> didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> uh, hi, nice to meet you. She signs back. Nice to meet you as well. Um, what is your name? Spells out, Alice. Nice to meet you, Alice. Uh, what relationship are you? And then she points at your brother. Alice looks at uh, Josh, trying to get a hint. Does do they know? Josh is kind of looking down at his coffee at this point. He. He's aware that you guys are communicating, but he's not 
interceding, so to speak. Uh, he's scooted down to the far edge so the social worker can sit next to him, which she does. Okay. We we spent a bit of time in foster care together some years back. I was hoping to catch up. She nods and she goes, well, okay. Um, well, I understand the situation a little bit better now. And she, she turns to your brother. Um, I'll actually go ahead and leave you two alone. I'm not going to leave the building, but I'll be sitting next to the door. Uh, just come by when you're, or, well, I'll see you when you, you're ready to leave. And she does, she signs, nice to meet you, Alice, and then moves over there. With that, uh, yes. we're going to go ahead and leave this conversation. Rick. Is this a house call or pulling them to another meeting space? I think it's going to be a house call just like late at night. He'll let him know that he's on the way because I would have gotten his number to use with the burner phone. Um, probably would have handed him the burner phone I had at the time, to be honest. Um, and yeah, Rick's going to like repress his scar with the, the thing and mm -hmm. use the twenty dollars to that he he stole off that hospital worker to go like get a gym membership so we can use the shower since you know he's not smelling great right now <laughs> sewers yeah. And then, like, at probably 3 a.m. or something, he's going to tr make sure that he's alone and get into and uh, knock on Richie's back door. You are standing at the back door for a while uh, before Richie responds. He kind of, as he opens the door... He does look, he looks significantly more ill than he was before. Uh, it's been roughly same deal with Alice. I would say it's been hard with the city kind of in lockdown as it is to move about as freely as you would have liked. So it's probably not within that same week. So it's been a couple of weeks since you've seen him. Um, he is looking significantly more pale. Um, there's a certain clamminess to the skin. You can see, you know, people don't like the word moist, but there's a certain moist quality to his skin. Hey, um, I'm actually surprised to hear from you again. You're doing all right. You don't. You don't look good. I mean, you do, but not the. Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, uh, thanks. <laughs> he kind of chuckles. Uh, uh, I would. I would. Uh, offer you to come in, but. I did, um, I, I've been to the doctor recently, they're running tests, of course, with everything that's going on, they suspect, but I haven't gotten the test work back for 100% confirmation yet, but I mean, with how things are going, uh, not just here in the city, but worldwide, you know, uh, there's that old saying, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. 
I think I'll be okay. Uh, and then he, he does uh, step aside and open the door further for you to come in. And I do so. Uh, it opened... Uh, the room at the back of the house is essentially a dining room kitchen type deal. There is a table in the middle of the room. Uh, he kind of makes his way over and lowers himself into a chair and, you know, offers, you know, gestures for uh, you to do the same. All right, I sit down next to him. You have something on your mind? Oh, it's just things are things are happening. I wanted to make sure that I could see you sometime because I don't know what life is going to look like in a day or even the next hour. That doesn't sound um good uh, I feel like that's maybe putting it a little mildly it's not but you don't need to worry about me I'm sorry but you come to my door at 3am not even my front door my back door calling from a burner phone and then you, you, you see how actions and words here don't necessarily line up. I, yeah, I, I see. I'm sorry if I'm scaring you. Uh, kind of adjusts himself. Taking a deep breath as if he's trying to catch his breath. I mean... I feel like f fear is a constant state of being nowadays. So... I mean, what have you gotten yourself involved in? Or... Uh, or what has gotten involved with you? Uh, maybe as a better way to phrase it I told you I got I got grabbed by some bad people they they were doing some unethical things to me and others and they want to keep doing it <laughs> Um, you've never been the type to take stuff lying down, at least, <laughs> uh, not the Rick I know. Yeah, that's probably one of my flaws. At least it's still part of me. So, A lot of things aren't. So I'm... I'm going to roll an intelligence roll here. Uh, let's do this. Pure intelligence. Uh, actually, no. It's not going to be pure intelligence. Do intelligence plus empathy. Makes the most sense. I just want to make it clear that Rick is trying to hide the fact that he he's on the verge of a panic attack seeing Richie like this. Okay, so go ahead and roll me <laughs> Composure and Subterfuge. As well. Well. Um, there's 
a lot more to what you're... There's a lot more to this, uh, Rick. Uh, just... There's a lot that I, I'm... Maybe I'm misreading this conversation, but... I would say now is not the time to hold anything back, um, at least if what I'm reading into this conversation is correct. I don't think now's the time to hold back on any words or any feelings. He kind of, he, he turns his head and coughs into his elbow. The cough doesn't seem any worse than it was last time, but it's still there, clearly. make it clear apparently I'm infected with the same thing you are but it's different so it, apparently I'm don't have the same symptoms but at least I don't spread it I have heard reports that this thing manifests itself in so many different ways that's why the CDC and all these different governmental agencies are having such trouble with it is one person seems to have a viral version of it then another person has a bacterial version of it uh, it's all almost they get into some real technical mumbo jumbo sometimes when they talk about it I I don't follow a hundred percent of it right is that what you meant by laying it out on the table No, and you know that's not what I meant. I'm sorry I never did right by you. I mean, you could say the same, but... Oh... I mean, he, he, he kind of, he adjusts in his chair and he makes a gesture. What exactly are we doing here? There, there's a part of me that feels like this is a goodbye. He raises his voice at the end, indicating that it is a question. I don't know. If it's, I don't think it's a goodbye, but things might be coming to a head soon. And I just wanted to make sure I could talk to you before they do. He pauses and thinks for a moment. Taps his finger on the dining table. You don't have any place to be tomorrow, right? Uh, things aren't coming to a head that quickly, right? Are we planning on doing things tomorrow out of character? Probably not. Probably not. No, not, not that soon. I I don't know where you've been at these last couple of months, years, uh, or however long. My brain's uh, foggy at best sometimes now. 
but you can stay here tonight if that's fine with you. I would appreciate it, actually. Thank you. With that, uh, he gestures for you to follow him as he uh, kind of gives you a tour of the house that he's st he's living in. And I think we will close the scene there. I know I originally had everybody roll, but I've honestly forgotten the order, so I'm just doing it however I feel like. <laughs> Roll again. Yes, mint. Yes. How do you plan on contacting? Well, before I blacked out uh, prior of those nights ago, uh, I did find like some evidence of like living history maybe a phone number or two mm -hmm. so probably just continue piggybacking off of that research that i did and then if i manage to scrounge up a number or a social media account that she's actually active in uh i'll try to reach out intelligence plus computers i feel like it's computers a skill nobody gets. I'll burn a willpower. Make it work. Two successes. Wow. Two successes. You're able to... Now, with this type of stuff, especially with the free versions of these type of sites, you can't ever be 100% sure if everything's up to date. But you're reasonably confident this one specific number is probably your absolute best bet. As you kind of look at it, uh, key it into your phone and kind of stare at it. Desmond pushes call. He does. It rings four times before it picks up. Uh, hello? It's a female voice on the other end. Uh, yes, hi. Hi. Uh, hello. Is, is this, um... Tessa Gaynor? Uh speaking uh who is this i don't recognize this number sorry uh, it's uh a new phone uh you wouldn't know me anyway uh i i um i just i just wanted to talk to you uh i'm, I'm not making a lot of sense uh, is, right this a, is this a solicitation no 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 um Uh, I'm your, uh, I'm your nephew. Okay, so, uh, so, so we're going, uh, so you're trying the old, I'm a relative scam. Okay, okay. Uh, let, uh, let, let's see how you spin it. Uh, I, care, I think I forgot my own. <laughs> my character's just... mother's name. <laughs> uh, you have it written down? I did have it written down, but it's among like old files somewhere for my character's backstory. I'm like, oh no. Make it up then. I'll make it up. Uh, placeholder name for now. Uh, Rebecca. Rebecca Gaynor. Uh, I'm her son. She pauses for a moment, thinking. I know this is out of the blue, but I'm not going to ask you for any money or anything like that if you think this is a scam. Uh, I just... Really, you're... 
I'm just going to come out and say you're really the only family that I know of that is still around or I even know exists. Uh, so I just wanted to reach out. Well, I will certainly say you've done your research. I mean, the family tree has grown uh, quite thin with its branches here of late. Um, that's not a pleasant thought to be bringing up, but, um, what did you say your name was again? I didn't, um, I'm Desmond. I, I don't think that you would have ever known that I existed or maybe that even she was pregnant. I do know she's dead. Is this is one of those situations where you're going to tell me you're the cause of her death? Desmond just kind of winces <laughs> as, he, as he sort of uh, hears her say that. Um, and he kind of falls a little bit silent on the other end of the phone for a little bit. I'm kind of gulping. Um, you need to get some water. I can I can hear that. This is an emotional moment for him. How uh, do you? How did she die? What what? How do you? What what do you know about her death? more what I'm asking. Uh, there Now she kind of gets quiet on the other end. Look, you seem like a nice enough person. I'm, I'm not getting the sense that as I originally had stated, I, I'm not getting the sense that you're actually a scammer. Um, but I'm not sure I'm a hundred percent comfortable talking about. No, of course not. Of course not. Um, uh, I don't imagine you'd be. He kind of sniffles at the other end. Uh, he's trying to hold back tears. Give me a composure roll. Uh, <laughs> composure. Uh. Not a great skill. All right, no, it is. It's my best social resistance. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, zero successes. Uh, try as you might like. You don't, though. Um. I, I guess what you'd say, whatever they told you about her, uh, you're right in that guess, I guess that she died giving birth to me. Um, and I'm not gonna really talk to you about the specifics of it or the circumstances of it all, but uh, a, a lot of bad things happened and I'm sorry for dropping in and on the blue like you like this and uh, <laughs> it's, it seems random and not exactly what you expected at all. It's not exactly what I expected either. <laughs> uh, but um, I, 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 if you don't really have to talk to me again, or I, I don't have to contact you again after that. But I, I did want to ask, um, what, what you know, what, what was she like, if? If you're comfortable sharing that, that is. There's a little bit of silence. You hear what sounds like a shaky breath on her come from her.
And she begins to tell you uh, some about their early childhood growing up together. Some of the... At the time, they seemed like momentous, earth-shattering fights, but with time, you come to realize how stupid those fights really were. He tells you about weddings that they went together, went to together, funerals of other family members. She spends several hours on the phone with you, detailing this. I think that's a good place to leave this scene. Andre. Mm -hmm. Who were you reaching out to again? You did. Oh. Um. So this is uh, Francesca. Francesca, hmm. the inside person. She arranges a meeting spot, as is her usual motif. It is a coffee shop. Might have been the same one Alice visits sometime in the future, or was it in the past? At this point, it doesn't really matter. Not really keeping tabs on Alice. Or in opposite corners. <laughs> She gestures you over to a booth. So, Andre. How was your, uh... You took a trip, didn't you? Uh, I think that's what you mentioned the last time we were together? Yeah. Yeah. There was nothing, just, uh... Place was overrun, no one left. Yeah, um, with what happened at the Pentagon, well, um, you know, personnel had to be called back to make sure that we were fully staffed. Uh, I probably honestly don't care about all of this, I mean... How have you no, been? But I, uh, yeah, something got in my head. In that place. You know, it's like I'm fighting back all the time. I just... I know I could do it. I could just... Tear people apart with my mind. And I want to. Fighting back all the time. I mean... If this were any normal situation, I would suggest you go see a psychiatrist of some sort, but given what I know happened, given what actually happened, given what you only know happened, I mean, I can't I can't call your feelings unjustified. Uh, not that, something else. This is... I don't know, it feels like there's an animal inside. Trying to get out. And she takes a sip of her coffee. So what are you gonna do about it? I mean... Uh, she she kind of gives a small smile. I hope I'm not on that list of being torn apart. And she kind of raises her hands up. No, but at some point I'm going back. And I don't know when. Maybe a few days, maybe a week. But when I do, I'll call you and you phone in sick. You 
go and see your mother. You, whatever for whatever reason you come up with, you do not go to work. Uh, the color drains from her face. I'm not even going to make her make a composure roll. She kind of exhales loudly. Uh, that's a very, uh, you do know with all of them at the new facility, and with everything that's been going on in the city. I mean, I can't even say you're going to be facing police at this point. You're going to be facing military. Like... I know. This is... And I know. <laughs> and I know if I go into that building a second time, I'm not coming back out ever. I'll be on ice. I'll be dissected. Find out what they can. But it gives me that closure. Just maybe. Just maybe. I mean, are you sure this is what you want? I mean... I, I, I get wanting revenge. You know. I, I, I say I get it. I, I, I don't. I'm going to be honest. I don't know the extent of everything that was done. I understand that you feel the need to have this catharsis. But, I mean, I can't think of the last time anybody's ever gotten vengeance and then felt good about it afterwards. I don't expect you, but... Uh... You know, there's, there's, there's others and they deserve a, a clean break away from the program hunting them down. I mean, what if do it... I do? I carry on running, carry on feeling like this, and should I turn back and just, like I say, let the animal out? I mean... From what I know, of the remnants of the program are I mean aren't everything's just a cog of something bigger at the end of the day isn't it if it's not them isn't it going to be something else maybe but they get to choose their own battles from now on Do you have, yeah, it, it's going to take more than the six of you to do it. Do you have anybody else that's going to help you? Because to the best of my knowledge, only the six of you escaped with your cognitive abilities intact. There were a couple of there were several others that did escape, but uh, their cognitive, according to the research I saw, was uh, diminished to that of pretty much just an animal. Maybe something. I don't know. She takes a sip of her coffee. But if you can get these to anyone, someone who can, you might know how to decrypt them, go public. And I would like to hand over some of the hard drives I got from the location B. Uh, she kind of looks them over. Um, I mean, I can look into them. I, I can call in a couple of favors to... S uh, see, I'm not a hacker myself, but, uh, I know people that can, so I can, they're not connected to the organization. They are just personal friends of mine. 
say this in the nicest way possible, but you have got some really, really weird friends. I mean, hackers are a dime a dozen these days. I'm surprised that one of you, one of the members of your little group doesn't know how to hack. Why come to me? Because you know how to get this information, probably without hacking. I mean, I could try some old passwords, but I don't know if the security was different at the second site. I'm assuming that's where you got these from. Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't make sense for you to give me just random hard drives you found, unless they were directly connected, so... Um. If there's anything on there, show it to the world, maybe. I'll do what I can. Um, is there anything else I can do for you? Just look after yourself. I mean, that's all anybody ever does day in and day out, right? Look after themselves. This day and age kind of gestures out, which you actually see like a military um, vehicle going down the street. Now as good a reason as any to maybe look out for yourself a little bit more. She nods, finishes her coffee, stands up. Well, Andre, um, I hope this isn't the goodbye that I think it is. But Take your own advice. Take care of yourself, please. She not only pays for her drink, but she pays for yours as well. I just as she goes, I'll just sort of do a little kind of hold the cup up. Toast. <laughs> and with that, we will leave this scene. Adrian. You have returned to not the boiler room itself. The sewer, the the sewer right underneath the entry into the boiler room. Yeah. Just somewhere nearby. Well, ultimately he's gonna find somewhere to sit down just to kind of think things through and probably openly talk aloud to the, the empty sewer and I don't know maybe his companion um, has input but uh, well the uh, hornet's nest is a couple floors up but what the hell am I going to do about it Hornet's nest is understatement of millennia. Eh, yes, perhaps, perhaps hornets are eh, best analogy I think I had there. <sighs> The problem is, is that's where everything's going to come down to, isn't it? Any answers I might have, any answers to anything are going to be up there, and anyone that needs to no longer be alive is also up there. Of course, we don't have the army to storm it. What it sounded like was you're going to be facing the army. That one person, the Desmond, uh, stated that the military was 
Brigadier General, that's military, right? Yeah, hence why we would need an army to really do anything here. Uh, uh, there is an army. You're... You must be aware of it as well. You're gonna have to elaborate there, friend. I have a couple ideas, some of which are more preferable than others. The... Entity you spoke with. The one that... That... Secreted that... Uh, Huss. He Whether, might have a little more sympathy than I do for him. Sympathy is not an emotion that is going through me. This is pure logic, or at least what I call logic. You, I, them, are all connected, whether we like it or not. Well, between the two of us, I think we're more connected than anyone else. I can agree. I have no hard feelings towards you, but you've got to understand that I've been on the receiving end of whatever army you might, that thing could call in. That's not the army that's going to solve any problems. It might not. It. It solves one problem. And it's a very simple problem. One thousand things make a much better shield than five other bodies. Shield's not what we need, I don't think. I mean, the building is just down that tunnel there. They can't shoot at us on their approach, and... <laughs> but once you're in line of sight, wouldn't you rather have some desecrated corpse of a person you don't know shambling in front of you, taking the bullet holes? I mean, I would. And at this point, he has healed significantly. He no longer has any aggravated damage. However, you can definitely see he's not completely up to snuff. Basically, his all of his ag has downgraded into lethal at this point. Yeah. Well, that might help. Um... It's not really a comfortable thought. You know, w w when I think of allies, I really don't think of zombies. Um, I mean, when you think of allies, or when you used to think of allies, would you have considered me an ally? Things change thing is, is, well, there's a difference between, uh, man, I hate trying using the same analogy that it did. I, I, I suppose you're like a child. You, I mean, you ripped out of me, sort of. Um, there's a difference.
How long do we plan on staying here? We can't sit here forever. I have another idea. I'm not about to throw my lot in with the undead yet. I still have some faith left in good old America. There's um, a doctor I need to go speak to. Might put me in contact with some folks that might be able to help. A doctor? A doctor of... They're not medicine. Wow, what... What did they tell me? Um, arts or, or history or something? I can't remember. Some university snob. You might have been still <laughs> unconscious. He didn't hear it on the phone call. Mm. What phone call? My point exactly. So, we're going to go visit this professor or person? Eh, this is my best lead on finding myself a small army. What's their name? I'm sure that you were given a name, right? I genuinely can't remember if I was given a name. If this is in regards to the... What it's in Zero told you? To her, I'm saying, yeah. Seth was the name given. Well, I'll say that. Uh... I was told Seth, but you never know if that's just a cover name or not. Well, uh, shall we make our way there? Better than sitting in the sewer for another week. I'm... I gotta stop to find something to eat on the way. I, do you eat? I, I don't, I've never really... I... Small parts. Okay, that works. But... I, I, I'm, I'm not opposed to taking anything that you give me. I'm not... Still not feeling the best. <laughs> we'll see what I can find, because... <laughs> neither of us are really presentable in pleasant society. Just call me a house cat. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm that convincing. Yeah, come on. If you're not feeling well, I'm gonna pick him up again. Uh, he doesn't need you to pick him up. He, he climbs up and kind of rests up. Uh, not really on your shoulder. His two front legs do sit over the top of your shoulder, but it's most he's mostly on your back. All right, onwards and two of us against the world, I suppose. You have just finished listening to this week's episode of Deviant the Renegades, Children of the Plague part of the Domain Gaming's Contagion Anthology, written and told by Wyvarian. A special thanks to you, the listener, and if you wish to continue supporting us, subscribe, like, and share. As always, comments are welcome. Until the next chapter, don't stop asking yourself, is there forgiveness for the murderer that birthed you?